Yo, what's up, guys? Draw here, and today, guys, I got a new episode of predicting your favorite team's season record. And today, we have the Jets. So we're sticking in the AFC East, and then we'll be doing the Patriots next time, and then we'll be doing the Dolphins, and then we'll probably do an a NFC division for the next four teams. Uh, let me know what division you guys would want me to do. For NFC once we get to that point but here we go the New York Jets play the Detroit Lions week one and I'm saying right now Sam Darnold comes in starting quarterback and he surprises everyone on I believe this is Monday night football I'm not I could be mistaken there I'll check what September 10th is here real quick but I believe that is Monday yes that is Monday night football so I think that of the first game of Monday, Monday Night Football, I say the Jets come in. Sam Darnold's first game, prime time, comes out and beats the Lions. And it's going to shock the world, but uh, it's it might get better than, may or may not get better than that. But the Dolphins, week two. So like I was saying about in the Bills, the Dolphins, they're an okay team. They're not... Really, they have really no one anymore. They don't even know if Ryan Tannehill is like an amazing quarterback. He hasn't played a snap in two years now, I believe. So Ryan Tan, they have David Fails and they have Matt Moore. I believe that's the only quarterbacks they have. So the Dolphins are pretty sketchy right now. They have really no one at quarterback. Quarterback, unless Ryan Tannehill will play amazingly. But I would say the Jets will come out and get a dub against the Dolphins. So we also got the Browns week three, and they play at the Browns. The Browns, they got Tyrod Taylor. They got Jarvis Landry. They got Chubb, their running back. And they got Josh Gordon. I say with a pretty upgraded defense with the Browns there, Miles Garrett, Tamaris Randall, they got some corners, Denzel Ward, and... Uh, Who's this? I think I'm pretty sure they got a safety, but I don't remember who it was. But I say the Browns get a dub week three against the 2 0 Jets and moving the Jets to 2 1. That is my saying right now. Week four, Jaguars. Sam Darnold's playing against one of the best defenses in the NFL on his fourth game of his NFL career. I don't see Sam Darnold surviving. He might be able to get through it. Um, hard, very, in a very hard way. He might have a couple interceptions, but I'm saying right now the Jets will move two and two by week four. So at this point, the Bills would have the same exact record as the Jets right now. Um, week five, the Jets play the Broncos, and this team does not have T.J. Ward, as they didn't have at the middle of last year. Um, they don't have Akib Talib anymore. And they only really have Chris Harris Jr. on that defensive side with Von Miller. And it's it's crazy. Brandon Marshall, I say the Broncos come out and they beat the Jets in week five, moving the Jets to two and three. Then week six, you got the Indianapolis Colts playing against the Jets at home. Jets versus Colts, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Colts, they're really not that good. I said it in the last video. The Colts, they, they're, they're not really good. All they have is, honestly, Andrew Luck, and that's really honestly it. They got rid of Vontae Davis, and their defense is pretty much nothing and has no leaders on that defensive side. Either I'm not thinking of anybody, but the Colts really have no one anymore, and they really can only rely on Andrew Luck in this game. And Andrew Luck has not played a snap in the league in almost a year, or actually two years. So it's pretty crazy that to think that the Colts would be able to win against the Jets here in this situation. I don't think so. I mean, it's week six. It's six weeks in. But I'm going to say that the Jets take a dub here against the Colts. Week seven against the Vikings. You got Kirk Cousins. You got the Vikings' amazing defense. It's not going to be any good for that rookie quarterback, Sam Darnold. Um, I say the Vikings take a win here in this situation, so moving the Jets to then 3-4 and four in Week 7. Week 8, you got Mitchell Trubisky, and you got Sam Darno. Mitchell Trubisky played, started Week 2 or 3, I believe, last year, something like that. 
and uh, did not have a very great career after that. Let's just say that right now. Bears did not go on to win that many games, but uh, Sam Darnold will get a W here at the Bears if they play like they did last year. Um, that's how that's going to go down. Um, at week 9, you got the Dolphins again. Jets will most likely take a W there, so that is going to be a two-win streak for the Dolphins. So as you guys know from the last video, I said the Bills would be taking a W against the Jets the first time they play. So therefore, I believe the Jets will lose to the Buffalo Bills um, with A.J. McCarron at quarterback. That's if they're going to have A.J. McCarron starting. Um, if they believe that he's better than Josh Allen at this point. They got a bye week on week 11. Then week 12, they play against the New England Patriots. The third pick in the NFL draft versus the best quarterback in NFL history. Did I really just say that? Did I really just say that? I think I did. But this one's a no-brainer. The Jets sometimes keep up with the Patriots. Sometimes every year i know last year they did one of the games they still lost but they kept up with them for like the third quarter and then the fourth quarter came and then the patriots blew them out it was something like that but this one's not even a question the patriots are going to win here and forcing the jets to lose um the titans i feel i know that i said in the first video the titans were really kind of nothing but if I'm going to be honest, I think the Titans will do well, but I don't think they're going to be going into the playoffs this year, and I really don't think they have a chance to go in the playoffs. I think the Titans, I didn't look at the Titans' schedule yet, but I think they'll be going at least 9-7 and seven or so. I haven't looked at their schedule or anything like that, but that's what I believe is going to happen in this point. So... I think in this situation the Titans will or the Jets will take an L to the Titans. That's my own personal opinion. I mean this game could go back and forth. These these offenses aren't the greatest, but I feel like the Titans offense will be a, with the defense, Titans defense too will be able to help with um getting the dub in this game. So I feel like the Titans will take a W there against the Jets. Then you got the Bills here. As I said in the last video, I said the Bills would be losing to the Jets the second time around. So that's usually what happens. Usually the Bills take a win and the Jets take a win. So that's why I just said that in the first place. But uh, Jets will take a W here again at the Bills, which will suck because I'll be at the game and then I'm going to go to a game where the Jets freaking win. Either I hope it's the other way around because I really just don't want to go to a Bills game where the Jets are going to win. Okay, so for some reason, I don't know why this game is to be determined. I don't know when that is, unless that's like, I mean, it says NFL Network. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're maybe going to make this like it. When is December 15th? I don't know why this says to be determined. That makes no sense. Um, September 15th says for a Saturday, so this might be a Saturday game. I liked how they did that last year. I liked how they did, they did Saturday games. So uh, the Texans with Deshaun Watson. The only way I'm saying Texans get a dub in this game is if Deshaun Watson is playing at the level he was playing before he tore his ACL in practice. So therefore, I think the Texans are going to get a dub. But the only thing I'm saying is it's going to be a close game. And the reason I say that is the Texans defense is trash. When you don't have your middle linebacker, when you don't have your best defensive player, you're not going to be playing very well. And especially that J.J. Watt is like the heart of that defense, you're not going to be winning that many games and you're not going to be able to hold up as many points as we, well I mean not really as we saw with the Steelers with Ryan Chazier, but still. But you got the Packers week 16, that I believe is going to be an L for the Jets. You're going up against the greatest skill quarterback in the NFL current currently so that's just not really even a question I don't think the Jets will be able to keep up with that so that's just my personal opinion on that and then week 17 you have the Patriots once again and I don't think the Jets will be able to keep up with that so if I count up the wins and losses 
I have the Jets going 6 and 10. 6 wins, 10 losses. That's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you think anything different, if you think the Jets are going to be doing better than that. There's definitely a lot of things you can argue in this um, schedule, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about that and uh, think what you get, hear what you guys think about the different games. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, homies.